you know, first edition of the big crosstown rivalry this year. Talk about how training has been and talk about how you guys have been prepping for the match. Um, yeah, it's always exciting when we play LA Galaxy. Um, you know how important the game is to the city and the league. Um, also, the development and growth of the game within North America. So it's, it's cool to know that we have such a big role to play in that. Uh, yeah, the training uh, this week has been really good. Uh, we're trying to build off the first three games we've had already. Uh, team mentality has been really good in the first couple of games. Uh, defensively, we've been solid, and we just continue to try and sharpen up on certain things going forward. So uh, all in all, it's been a good week. Awesome. Thanks, Mark. We're going to start here with Katya. Take it away. Thanks, Ben. Hi, Mark. Um, Hi. I wanted to ask you about this version of the Galaxy. If you, if what you've been able to see, is it something different from the previous times that you've faced them now with, with Greg Banny? And, and what kind of a challenge or a new challenge will that be? Um, to be honest, I haven't watched them that much this year. Um, so I don't really know what their style of play is. Um, I know they still have some very key players um, on their team. And, you know, with the addition of Greg Benny, he's a very good coach. So uh, I'm sure he's going to figure out a way to get them playing a good style of football. So that that would be uh, obviously a tall task to deal with. But, um, no, I just think that uh, whenever you play in these games, no matter how the teams have played – the weeks prior leading up to this game, you know, they're always going to give their all. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how they come out against us. But, you know, now knowing who their coach is, I know they'll have a good plan. And in and, and terms of how are you guys right now at, at this moment in, in the season, you're, of course, one of the leaders in, in the team and you have other leaders as well, but not – and you're missing Carlos Vela. That's something that we saw also throughout 2020. Um, how do you, how are you guys in, in general in, in that sense for, for this game, for this rivalry? Yeah, no, I think we're, we're okay because um, obviously, like you said, last year we had to deal with missing one of our biggest players for majority of the year, whether that be due to family situation or to injury. So um, I think last year has taught us a lot. A lot of the guys have, um, you know, improved on their resilience. And I think, you know, two years ago, having Carlos out, you know, maybe we wouldn't really know how to play without him. But now we, we've, you know, developed the guys who are here and figured out a way that no matter who's on the field, we play our type of football. Um, you know, and you can see it from the first game when Carlos got hurt and other guys had to come in and step up. That's what they did. So, um, yeah, it's unfortunate because Carlos is – the, I would still say the best player in the league. And it's unfortunate when you have that guy and you see him every day in the locker room and he can't suit up beside you. But um, we have guys here who've been working really hard to get better. And, you know, it just gives guys more opportunities to, to showcase themselves. Thank you. Thank you. Max Bretos. Mark Anthony. Good day, sir. Max, how are you? I'm excellent. Thank you. Uh, curious. Um, what is a moment that sticks out from this rivalry? It could be a good one, a bad one that like sticks with you that uh, you think about as the next episode of this game arrives. Yeah, you know, I don't think there's any, there's so many moments that have happened uh, in these games. So it's hard to pinpoint one, you know, I'm sure there could be a list of 10 great ones and a list of 10 bad ones, you know, um, but every, every game, like, you said is a different episode. So um, I'm more looking forward to seeing how we do in this first game, um, considering everything that we went through together as a team last year. Like I said, I think a lot of the guys have improved on how resilient they could be considering the circumstances of last year. And um, we all know how big of a game this is. And it's just exciting to, to have it so early in the season. So there's no one moment that sticks out, um, you know, especially – because I missed out on the, the first win ever, you know, I was injured. And I think that that should be one of the biggest moments uh, for the club when we think about the Galaxy. So, uh, but yeah. Thanks, Max. Josue Lopez. Hello, Mark. Good afternoon, man. Good to talk to you. 
Okay. In a week preview in a game against the Galaxy, how is training like? Is there something different about the atmosphere? Do you train with more, more intensity? How is it a week like preview in a game against Los Angeles Galaxy? No, we want to play the same way every single game, regardless of the opponent. So our training doesn't change. Uh, you know, we're, we're always working on things we can improve on. So that means things that we, we might have not done well in the previous game. Um, because we know that if we can improve on that, then it'll help us in our next game or the upcoming game. Um, in terms of intensity, we train at the same intensity week in, week out, regardless of who we're playing, because that's, you know, kind of our identity is to, to be the aggressors on the field. So nothing changes regardless of the opponent. Thanks. Any more questions for Mark? If not, I'm going to get one more in here, Mark. All right. So last one for you today. You know, you talked a little with uh, with Katya about, you know, some opportunities for guys because, you know, early injuries, you know, some guys out uh, in health protocols, you know, someone like Marco Farfan really comes to mind. What have you seen um, from some of these guys stepping up? and, you know, really contributing over these last couple of games? Yeah. Um, the young guys on our team have the opportunity to be coached by great coaching staff and, you know, to try and understand what type of football we're playing because of the guys who've been here for so long. We try to set the standard for how it's supposed to be. So, you know, they've been very coachable and open-minded and, I'm, I'm glad that they're getting their opportunities this quickly because um, it, it makes it easier to improve their development when they have an opportunity to, to go up against an opponent. Um, yeah, Marco has done well. We knew what Marco was capable of doing before he was here, and now he, he's adjusted well to our type of football, but obviously there's still things he needs to continue to open his mind to, but it takes time, like everyone knows. Um, but our young guys are excited. You know, they, they got a, a massive future in front of them. And obviously they're, they're playing big roles now, which is going to help. Awesome. Really appreciate your time today, Mark. That's going to be it.